All right, everybody, here goes a video on inscribed angles of a circle. So first thing you need to know is what an inscribed angle is. Well, an inscribed angle is an angle that's inside of a circle, but the vertex is on the circle. It's not in the center. It's not floating around someplace inside. It's not outside. It is on the actual circle. And the measure of the arc that it is creating is going to be twice the angle, or the angle is going to be half the arc, either way you want to think about it, okay? So the angle, in this one, angle 1, is going to be half the measure of arc AB. So if AB was 100, then angle 1 would be 50, okay? That's going to work out all the time. One other special case is if you have an inscribed quadrilateral, which means you have a quadrilateral where all four of the vertices are on the circle, that means it's an inscribed quadrilateral, Opposite angles will add up to 180. So 3 and 4 are going to add up to 180. 1 and 2 are going to add up to 180. And that's pretty much all the information you need to take on the rest of this set of notes. So what we'll do is we'll do a couple examples together. And then I'll probably have you pause the video and try a few on your own. So the first one, just think to yourself. We're going to just kind of go through these rather quickly because it's the same topic over and over. The arc is 68 degrees. So what is the measure of the angle creating it? Since it's on the circle, it's inscribed, it's 68 degrees. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Next one. Now the reason there's a diameter here is just so you know that this arc is half a circle. So if it helps you to trace the angles until you get good at it, here's the angle. Here is your arc. Well, the diameter cuts a circle in half, which means half a circle is a 180-degree arc. That means x is 90 degrees. Another thing you need to know about a circle is it's 360 degrees. You already know that. So here's your angle. Don't let this fool you. There's your angle. But look at the arc. The arc is inside. It's got to be inside of the angle. So, if a full circle is 360 and this guy is 240, that means this arc is 120, which means this angle is 60 degrees. So really it's not that bad. You just have to remember a couple of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to try that next row. Just see if you can think about those on your own and come up with the answers. And we'll see what you come up with in just a little bit. So pause the video, give it a try. So here's x, which means we need to know the measure of that arc. Okay, so here's our angle. We need that arc. Well, we know that this from here to here is 100, meaning this arc is 260. So x is 130 degrees. Done. Next one, you have to remember. The angle is half of the arc. So if the angle is 40, then half of what angle or what arc gave you 40 would be 80 degrees. And in the last one of this row, we have 60 and we have another 200. So we have 260 degrees, meaning we have 100 degrees missing. So x is going to be 50 degrees. If you got all three of those, Pretty much, you're good to go here. So let's move on, talk about a couple other problems really quick. This first one, we're looking for x. So in a way, this is a two-step problem. x, if we trace the angle, is half of this arc. We weren't given the measure of that arc, but we do know that this inscribed angle is 55 degrees. And they're sharing the exact same arc. So if this guy is 55, this guy is 110. If this guy is 110, this guy is 55. So any two angles that inscribe the same arc are going to be the same. But 
You can memorize that if you want to. Don't if you don't. doesn't bother me either way. Um, so we're going to go ahead and find x, y, and z in this next one. Now, if you think about it for a minute, we've already done one of these where this angle is part of a half circle. So we know x is going to be 90. Z, if we look at z, that's the inscribed angle of 150. So z is going to be 75. So if this guy is 90 and this guy is 75, triangles still add up to 180 like they always have. This guy is 15. So you're done. You could have found this other arc if you wanted to. It's 30 because half a circle is 180. And there you go. Half of 30 is still 15. So either way you look at it, you're going to get the same thing. It's one of the reasons why I don't tell you a certain way you have to do things. You can do things whichever way works for you. So let's see what we got next. Looks like a algebra problem and a big old puzzle problem. So this is what we're going to have you do. For the first one, I just want you to look at that for a minute, set up x, or set up 4x, solve it, and then we'll see if you get it right. And then after that, I want you to try that puzzle problem. I want you to try to find all eight of those angles on your own. Now, you will have a little bit of work to do, but I definitely think it's manageable, so give it a try and see what you can do. So one of the things we mentioned is if you have an inscribed quadrilateral, the opposite angles add up to 180. So that's what you need to do for this. 5x plus 10 plus 3x plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. So when you solve for x, you're going to get x is equal to 18.75. Now once you get 18.75, you're not done. You still have to plug it into the angles. So we're looking for the measure of arc DAB. That's from here all the way to here. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this, but I would say the easiest way to do this problem is to first plug x back into angle A. So 2x times 18.5 plus 10 is going to give you 47.5 for this angle. Now, since we know opposite angles are supplementary, subtract 47.5 from 180, and you would know that this guy is 132.5. And now you also know that this angle is half of the arc we're looking for. So if the angle is 132.5, the measure of the arc is 265 degrees. So if you got that, great job. Last one, now we've just got a whole puzzle. And the first suggestion I'm going to give you on any puzzle problem is even if it doesn't ask you to do so, Find every missing arc, if possible. So we have 60 degrees here, 100 here, and 90 here. So we know circles have to add up to 360 degrees. So if we take that and subtract, we would end up with, or first we would add all these guys up, and we would have 250 degrees, which means we are missing 110. So if we have 110 degrees over here, that might help us with a couple other angles, which you'll see in a minute. So, let's start from there. Angle 1. We see that it is an inscribed angle. If it helps you again, you could trace the angle. It's half of 90, so angle 1 is 45 degrees. If we look at angle 2, angle 2 is inscribed to 60. So angle 2 is going to be 30 degrees. Now one other suggestion I'm going to give you, whenever you're working with a puzzle problem, I would suggest writing your answers inside as you go because that might help you. Because look, right now you can skip to angle 6. We know triangles add up to 180. So if these guys are adding up to 75 and triangles add up to 180, we know angle 6 has to be 105. So again, writing the angle or writing the measures inside can be helpful to you. If we go look at angle 7 and angle 3, those are also both inscribed angles. Angle 3 is going to be half of 
100. So angle 3 you should have is 50. And angle 7 is half of 90 down here. So we should have 7 also be 45 degrees. Okay, again, it might be helpful for you to write things down here. Um, we still have to find angle 4. Now angle 4 is going to be half of this 110 we found earlier. Another reason why I suggest always finding the arcs first. So angle 4 is going to be half of 110, so angle 4 is 55 degrees. Now, there's another way you could have found that. Way over here, angle 5 is not 30, people. If you said angle 5 is 30, you forgot that this has to be on the circle. This is what's known as an interior angle. Um, so what you have to do here is just good old-fashioned, what's a straight line? 180. So 180 minus 105, angle 7 is 75, which means this guy is also 75. So that's how you could have found angle 4 as well, is you still have a triangle here. So 180 minus 75 and 50 would still give you 55. So now that we know this guy is 75, the last one we have to find is angle 8. Angle 8, as we see, is inscribed. It's intersecting uh, the 60 degree arc, so your inscribed angle would be... 30 degrees. So if you got all of those angles on your own, I'm very impressed. And that's it for this video. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.